project video. Have you ever played basketball? Yes. Well, then check out this basketball ring that I made. You know what's special about it? It can count the number of baskets I score and display it on my mobile. I'm sure you guys are excited to learn how to build this and I'm going to teach you exactly that. So here's what we need. The first thing we'll need is our motherboard. Here I've got my motherboard and I'm going to switch it on using this switch on the side and this is the Bluetooth which is going to help me connect to my basketball ring. The next thing I need is a sensor. Can you think about what sensor we might use in this project? You're right, we're going to use the IR sensor. So here I have my IR sensor and a cable to connect it to my motherboard. Now let's see how to connect them together. The first thing you want to do is grab your wire and slip it into the port on your IR sensor and then choose any one of the six ports on your motherboard and slip in the wire. I'm going to use port number one. Make sure you remember the port that you use so that you can program your app accordingly. Wondering what an IR sensor is? If you are, then go ahead and watch the IR sensor video. Once you're done with the connections, place the motherboard and the IR sensor into your basketball ring. There you go. I'm done building it. Now it's time to build an app. Once you've done this, start programming your app. And to start, log on to www.stemdaisy.in. First, we're going to design our app. I'm quickly going to add Bluetooth connectivity to my application. If you're wondering how to add Bluetooth connectivity from scratch, then go ahead and watch the introduction to Bluetooth. Once you've done this, add a label onto your application screen. This is where the score will be displayed. And if you want, you could add a label saying score. The next thing you want to do is add the IR sensor. You'll find this in the Cutie Pie Mega Blocks section on the palette on your left. After you've added this, make sure you change the properties, give it Bluetooth client and a port number. I'm going to give it port number 1. Once you've added this, make sure you add the notifier. Once you've done all of this, you're done designing your app. It's now time to program it. Let's program our app. The first thing to do is pick out the Bluetooth connectivity blocks from the backpack. So here I have my before picking block and after picking block. Once I drag and drop these onto the screen, the next thing I'm going to do is initialize a variable called count. And I'm going to initialize it to zero. Once I've initialized, I'm going to pick out the on change event handler from IR sensor. After this, pick out the if then else block and the equality checker from math. We're going to check the value of the IR sensor. Every time the IR sensor gives a value of true, we know that a ball has been put into the basket. So if this condition holds true, we're going to add one to our variable count and then display it onto the screen which will be onto our label and else if a basket has not been put we're still going to display the old value of count onto our screen once you've done this you're done programming your app don't forget to save and build once you build you can put this onto your tablet and check how your app is working so I've installed the app on my tablet and here I have my basketball ring. Let's see how it works. Let me quickly switch on my motherboard, connect it to my app. Okay, let's go. Five scored. So here's my basketball ring. Can you make yours glow every time a basket is scored? Uh, I'll give you a hint. Maybe you can do that using the RGB LED. So happy building. I'll see you next time with a new project.